Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about how to use RoboCopy to back up your files in Windows. So RoboCopy is a command line tool that could, you could use in Windows for file management. So let's say you don't want to use the built-in file history app in Windows or don't feel like using a third-party program, you could give this a shot. Alright, so RoboCopy, which stands for Robust File Copy, is a built-in Windows command line utility that efficiently copies and synchronizes files and directories. It supports features like mirroring folder trees, retrying on failures, multi-threaded transfers, and preserving file attributes and security permissions. Alright, so we're just going to go through a couple slides here and then we'll do some demonstration at the end. Alright, so now we have our basic backup command for RoboCopy. So it's RoboCopy with the source, the destination, and then whatever switches you want to use. So there are many switches to choose from. Uh, but these are some of the more common ones. So we have our source, the folder you want to back up, the destination folder, slash E copies all subdirectories, including empty ones. Copy all copies the attributes, you know, timestamps and permissions. The R switch with the number after it is the amount of retries you can do on failed copies. This one's set to three, for example. And then how long to wait between retries. And then MT, multi-threading. With the number, we'll use eight threads for faster copying in this example. So we're going to be copying the documents folder under Todd's user folder over to our E drive under backup slash documents with these same switches. And then here are some extra switches. But what this will do, it'll just copy everything. And then if you run it again, it's just going to recopy everything again. So what you could do as well is add additional switches here like XO will skip older files, which will prevent overwriting. XC skips files where content hasn't changed. XN skips newer files in the destination. All right, and then there's also mirror mode. If you don't want to do just a straight copy, you could do a mirror between two folders. So the mirror mode slash MIR ensures that the destination folder becomes an exact copy of the source folder. So this will copy all files and subdirectories from the source. Delete files in the destination that don't exist in the source, so you got to be careful with that. Uh, preserve timestamps, attributes, and security settings. So how it works, if a file exists in C source but not in D backup, RoboCopy will copy it. If a file exists in the backup but not in the source, RoboCopy deletes it. And if a file in the source is modified, it gets updated in the backup or destination. So here's an example here using the same folders. All right, so some extra features of RoboCopy. So if you want to log your backups, you could do that as well. So this will create a log file for the backup in the destination of your choosing. So here's an example here with the same folders, with the slash log and the location. And then you could also schedule your backups with Task Scheduler. So what you could do is create a batch file in Notepad with your RoboCopy command and then use Task Scheduler to run it at whatever interval you like. So here's a sample of the command you could stick into Notepad for your batch file. So we have one of these as well that we'll be trying. All right, and then one thing I wanted to mention too, you may run into this error when you're using RoboCopy. You do not have the Manage Auditing User Write. So this means that RoboCopy is trying to copy auditing information from the source files, but your user account does not have the necessary permissions to do so. Specifically, you need the Manage Auditing and Security Log User Write to copy auditing details using slash copy or slash copy all. So a way to get around that, the easiest way is to run as administrator. And if you don't want to do that, you can modify your user rights by granting your account the Manage Auditing and Security Log permission in the Group Policy Editor, assuming you have access to use that. And then you could use alternate copy options. So if you don't need the auditing information, you could avoid the error by replacing copy all with slash copy colon DATSO, which copies everything except auditing details. All right, so now let's hop on the computer here and give this a shot and see how it works. All right, so here are the commands we're going to be running from the slides here. So the first one we're going to do is just a straight backup from one folder to the backup folder here. So we're going to run the command via administrator. All 
All right, so let's copy this. But before we do that, let's take a look at what we have here. So here's the Documents folder on the C drive. And then here's the Documents folder on the E drive, which is right here. And currently it's empty. All right, so let's try out this first command. All right, so we got seven directories and 90 files. One of them was skipped. Probably some type of system file it couldn't copy. And how many bytes and how long it took. So it's pretty instant right there. All right, so let's take a look. So now you can see we have the files here, which match what we have here. You can see this is 83 items, and this is also 83 items, so it could have been some hidden file possibly that it skipped because it couldn't copy. All right, so now we're going to try the mirror command, but before we do that, let's make a new file in the destination. All right, so this is in the destination here. But it's not in the source, so when we mirror it, Robocopy should delete it from the destination. Let's clear the screen here. All right, so there's our extra file there. And if we go back here, now you can see it's gone. All right, so that worked. All right, so now we're going to make a log file here just by running a simple backup and checking out the log file. Let's clear the screen again. So we're going to put the log file on our desktop here. All right, so here's our log. And then you can see it looks pretty much like the output when the command is finished here. Shows our folders there, total files and folders, and time and so on. All right, so finally, we have our batch file here. So let me open this in Notepad. So here's the command from the slides for the batch file. Just the basic command here. And then we're going to echo backup complete to tell us it's complete, and then pause so we could see it finished. So we could run this right from here, right click on it, run as administrator. So backup complete, press any key to continue. Just like that. All right, so if we want to make this into a scheduled task, what we need to do first is create a shortcut. So we will copy this and then create a shortcut. And then we need to go to our shortcut and go to the properties, click on advanced, and check run as administrator. So you can't do this to the regular batch file, you have to make a shortcut to it to get this option. All right, so now we're going to open up Task Scheduler. All right, so we will create a basic task. We'll call this Document Backup. Put a description if you like. Then decide when you're going to run it. Let's just say weekly. Uh, when you're going to start and how often you want to do it. Let's do it every Sunday. Then start a program, so that's what we want to choose in this step. Browse to our batch file shortcut, right here, the one with the arrow. And then when we're done here, check this box to open the properties when we're finished. And then run with the highest privileges. Alright, so here's our document backup task ready to run. Then, of course, you could run it right from here, come in here, end it, disable it, delete it, and so on. All right, so there's your basic overview for using Robocopy for doing some backups and mirroring. So obviously, it's not you know quite as straightforward as this, depending on what you're going to be doing. So you're going to have to check out the other switches and then you know build your commands accordingly, depending on what you want to do. So I'll put a lot of this information in the uh, description. And then you could uh, check it out and try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.